What's up, everybody? Alex from Twin Gaming TV, back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today, we're back on the Pack and Play team, the Pack Squad, and uh, not really going to be doing too much in terms of upgrades or anything like that today. No packs or anything, but we're going to try and get to 10 0 in ranked seasons. Currently, 9 0. I really want to try and get as far as I can. We're 470 for our rating right now. I want to uh, try and get a Pack and Play video out, at least where I play a game, every single day until the season's over, which is in six days. So I'm hoping that maybe I can get myself up to or close to World Series. I might even play a little bit off of YouTube, probably after I lose my first game, though. I think I'll play every game until I lose my first one on YouTube, and then after I lose my first one, I might play uh, some games off YouTube and maybe on stream, something like that, just to try and get up to World Series and see how high I can get before the season's over. I forgot that I didn't change my lineup around like permanently, but I think I might just leave this one, you know, uh, leave it how, it how it is. Got the three lefties for the first four batters. That should be fine. Uh, nothing wrong with that. This guy has George Springer, Adam Duvall, Edwin Encarnacion, Mark Reynolds, Marwin Gonzalez, 87 Melky Cabrera, his creative player, Alex Avila, and Garrett Richards. We got Marco Estrada on the mound. Garrett Richards is actually a really solid pitcher. Uh, so I'm hoping I can maybe hit him decently this game. I think this is my first time pitching with Marco Estrada. It's going to be interesting to see the pitches that he has and how hard he throws, how good he is, all that kind of stuff. Got him down 0-2 to start it off. We're going to go back to the curveball here, try and uh, strike him out for the first batter of the game. Got him. There we go. What a start for Marco Estrada. And strike three, two quick strikeouts. Both the strikeout come. Both the strikeouts are coming on that curveball. And uh, that's six pitches, two strikeouts. Maybe we can get Edwin Encarnacion to strike out on three pitches here. I think that's going to be my goal. Uh, just throw, throw him some fastballs and uh, give up a base hit. Dang it. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Charlie Blackman running it down. Easy double for uh, Edwin Encarnacion. Runners going. We're going to easily get him out here. There we go. Going to the bottom of the first. Nothing happening in that first inning. Two strikeouts and a base hit. Oh, he hits Charlie Blackman to start off the game. Wow. I don't know if he did that on purpose or not. That He missed quite a bit with the fastball. Oh, he pitched out there. Oh, he's going to get us easily. Wow. We were gunned. He was expecting that. I mean, I did just steal, though. So I, I, I was trying to steal right before that, but still. Oh, Cody Bellinger. Some decent contact. Nice fly ball. Two outs here in the inning. 3-0 and to Aaron Judge. He had a homer for us last video, so I'm hoping he can get one here. Oh, ball four. I'll take a walk. I'm fine with a walk for Aaron Judge. Corey Dickerson hoping to get a home run or something. And that's probably going to be a fly ball, right? Yeah, pretty deep fly ball to left field from Corey Dickerson. Uh, we got a walk in the inning. No base hit, though. So we've struck out two batters on a curveball. We're going to go to it a third time, see what we can do. And strike three. Three strikeouts, man. The curveball, I love it so far here with the pack and play team. I'm loving the curveball so far throughout these videos. There we go. Got him flying out. Two down in the inning. There we go. Jammed him a little bit. Make the play, Michael. Got it. Going into the second inning. And nothing really happening in his part of the second for uh, or for him. Ball four to Trevor Story. That's a little bit of a questionable call, umpire. And that was kind of 100% in the zone. Michael Franco, that's going to score a run here, I think. Yeah, that's going to score a run. Michael Franco getting our first base hit of the game following the walk. Uh, is it going to score a run? It's not. Wow. Yeah, man, that kind of sucks. I thought we were going to score pretty easily there. I guess not. He's intentionally walking Yadier Molina. I don't think he's my eighth batter. Yeah, Logan Forsythe coming up to bat. I guess that does enable the double play, though. I didn't even think about that. Logan Forsythe hitting that one kind of deep. Uh, probably not going to score a run. I think I might have left early, honestly, tagging the third. But it's not going to matter. No, it is going to matter. Uh, we didn't leave early, and now uh, we were safe. Now our pitcher's up to bat. Two down runners on the corners. Oh, my goodness. Can't believe it. Didn't score a run, but we got our first base hit of the ballgame in the inning. Thought we were going to score at home, and uh, we didn't. We didn't even come close. There we go. Got him to strike out on a curveball. I think that's our fourth strikeout today with Marco Estrada. He's created a player starting off the inning with the strikeout. 
We got him swinging. I was zoning out a little bit. My bad, dudes. I always zone out on the pack and play team. I'm sorry. Seems like that happens in a lot of videos for the pack and play squad. But struck him out on a curveball. I think that's two strikeouts in the inning. Uh, my memory, if my memory serves me well, which sometimes it doesn't. He's bunting with his pitcher. I mean that that prevents the strikeout. But uh, third down of the inning there. Charlie Blackman lining that one into the outfield. I'm hoping it's not hit too hard. I want to double. I really hope we're safe at second. And we're going to be safe at second. Charlie Blackman, he's been such a good hitter on my pack and play team. And uh, he's continuing to kill it this game. As Cody Bellinger flies out to his pitcher. That sucks, man. I got way, way, way too far under that one. Flying out to the first baseman, sorry. Aaron Judge striking out. Dang it, bro. Second out of the inning. Corey Dickerson just driving Charlie, man. He got a leadoff double for the team. Corey Dickerson, oh, that's going to drive in the run. Maybe get out of here. No, it's going to be bouncing right in front of the wall. That's going to be a double for Corey Dickerson. Driving in Charlie Blackman. We're at one to nothing here in the bottom of the third inning. I think with this camera angle, it works best for me to start my PCI in the middle. I mean, we're going to fly out there for the third out, but uh, I think it's easier for me trying to track the ball like I do strikes on. I think it's easier than that. I'm thinking for the next video. So the first video today was 99 Cal Ripken's debut, a ranked seasons game. Second video was a BR game, and this video is pack and play. And then the last video today, it's going to go back to BR on the main squad. And I'm going to switch to this camera angle for pitching. I really kind of want to use this camera angle for pitching. Uh, I think I, I think it gives me a little bit of an, not an advantage, but being able to see the batter, I can know how close they are to the plate, what pitches might work and what doesn't, but the types of swings they have, all that. I think. I think pitching with this camera angle would do better while hitting with strike zone still. I think that would make me win more BR games. I really do as we give up a home run. So maybe this camera angle's not good. That just wasn't a bad pitch. I'm getting lazy. Yeah, that was down the middle. I think I said that wasn't a bad pitch. I mean, that wasn't a good pitch is what I meant to say. And uh, we, th we threw it down the middle. So we can't be doing that. Edwin Encarnacion getting a second base hit of the game. He's a triple and a homer away from the cycle. Dang. And Marco Estrada is injured. Wow. So we're going to bring in Tyler Clipper. Dang it, man. Why does my starting pitcher have to get injured here in the fourth inning? We're going to pick him off at first base. Got him. Yeah, easily got him. There we go. I was I was hitting square, but I needed to hit uh O. <laughs> but we got him. He took about three or four steps for some reason, and now we're striking, striking him out. I don't know what he was doing on the bases with that, like, four-step lead. Michael Franco, I'm making better contact now that I'm moving it to the ball. I'm just kind of lining it out. I got to get under it, maybe a little bit more or something. 3-2 count to Yadier Molina, and I go and fly out. I was late on the pitch. I think Logan Forsyth up now with two down. Yeah, Logan Forsyth, two down here in the inning. Yeah, that's a pretty bad inning. I need to get some runs, man. We're going to the top of the fifth tie ball game. I got to get some runs. I don't want to lose. I want to stay undefeated. I still wish I didn't give up that home run, man. I threw a four-seamer down the middle. I can't believe I threw that pitch. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be... Like, I knew I messed up when I was throwing it, but I really didn't think it was going to be that far over the plate. Melky Cabrera grounding out for the second out of the inning. I just need to make sure the rest of the game not to give him anything to hit. If I'm throwing it kind of below the zone, outside the zone, I think I should be solid just because he's chasing a fair amount of stuff this game. Going back to the curveball now. Two down, two strikes here in the fifth inning. Strike three. Going to the bottom of the fifth. I kind of want to switch to strike zone, but on the pack and play team, I like using di different camera angles. It kind of it makes it nice to switch things up a little bit with Tyler Clipper now leading us off, but I'm going to leave him in. And he's going to get a base hit, right? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His shortstop's not going to be able to make the play. Base hit, Charlie Blackman, our hottest hitter, leading, or lead, our leadoff hitter, our hottest hitter, coming up to bat now, following the hit from Tyler Clippard. And I power swing and get under it. Dang it, man. Not at all what I wanted to have happen. Cody Bellinger. Did I smack that one? I think I did. Uh, I'm going to just keep going with my pitcher. I don't care if it's caught. Let's go off the wall. I'm going to be sending him home stupidly. Never mind. Okay, there we go. Runners on second and third. One out here in the bottom of the inning. 
Aaron Judge now. Going to be a base hit, guys. That's awesome. We just took the lead again. 2-1. to one, Bottom of the fifth inning. Oh, no. I struck out with Corey Dickerson on the changeup. I've been swinging way too early on, on fastballs, changeups, just anything I've been swinging early lately. I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe my timing's better, but I'm just swinging early. So maybe I need to uh, just look the ball in a little bit more. Dang, man. We're, we're, we scored one. We took the lead there in the inning. So I'll take it. That's fine with me. Curveball. Strike three. Another strikeout for our pitchers. One down. Top of the sixth inning. And strike three. Second strike out of the inning. Even though we got it in the yellow, we were able to make the throw. Two down. Yachty make the play. Oh, not able to make the play. We're going to just strike him out, man. Three strikeouts here in the inning. All three on curveballs in the dirt. Going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Up two to one. That's awesome, man. I'm glad we took the lead. I'm glad we actually were able to take the lead. I'm feeling good about this game. I think we're going to go 10-0 to start the season so far. Oh, I started off low. And uh, maybe a little bit too low. We flew that one out for the first out of the inning. Yadier Molina lining out to the third baseman. Ooh, Logan Forsythe lining out to the... That, that's not a line out. Uh, popping it out a little bit to the third baseman. Four strikeouts in a row. All of them on curveballs in the dirt. And I'm pretty sure it's come on 12 pitches. Maybe I threw a ball in one of the at-bats. But I don't think I did. I actually don't think I did, so I think it's four strikeouts in a row on 12 pitches, which I'll, I'll take. And are we going to make it five? Going for that curveball in the dirt. I'm kind of surprised he's not used to it by now. And uh, five strikeouts in a row, at least. I, don't, I wasn't paying attention before that, but two down in the inning. And I'm not, like, trying to seem cocky. I know, I know that I'm probably playing a lot lower than my actual skill level, considering I made it to World Series, and this is, like, all sorts, like four divisions below. Um, so if I'm, try if I'm sounding cocky or try if you, you guys think I'm, like, trying to uh, sound cool because I'm striking all these guys out. I have six strikeouts in a row on 18 pitches now. Uh, I'm not. I'm just doing it's, it's for fun, man. I, I'm, I'm pitching well. Obviously not against the same level as me, but I'm just having a fun time. And uh, I, I hope it's not coming off as cocky or rude or, or anything like that. Ooh, our pitcher, Tyler Clippard, grounding out to the second baseman. That was a weird flip. I don't think I've really seen that animation too often. Ah, Charlie Blackman started off two for two. Now I'm two for four. Still a 500 average, though. I'll take that for sure. Dang it, man. Cody Bellinger striking out. I swung at uh, one good pitch, and then the rest ran out of the zone. Going for our seventh strikeout in a row on 21 pitches. Got it, baby. Let's go, man. That's cool. That's cool. Seven strikeouts in a row on 21 pitches. And there's going to be a little bloop in front of the catcher. For an out, our seven strikeout streak is over. Got him swinging on the curveball. We're going to the bottom of the eighth inning. Three outs away from getting the win. Uh, I want to get some more insurance runs. One run, I do kind of feel like it's enough, but I still want some insurance runs with Aaron Judge leading us off. Aaron Judge killed that ball. Get out. Get up, get up, get up. No, not even close. War I mean, close. It's warning track power, but... Corey Dickerson, finally I'm able to do something with Corey Dickerson. No doubt about that one. Off the foul pole, I think. And 350-foot uh, homer. Not quite a long one, but I'll take that for sure. He's bringing in Hunter Strickland now. One down, bottom of the eighth inning. We got the insurance run I wanted. Trevor Story now sending one the other way. Gone! Wow! I was not expecting that to get out. Oh my goodness. Is that back-to-back -back homers? I don't know. Either way, two home runs though here in the inning. Michael Franco now getting a base hit. What am I doing all of a sudden that makes me able to hit the ball? Yadier Molina, if it's caught, we're going to be thrown out. Yeah, we're getting doubled off. Uh, that's okay though. Going to go to the top of the ninth, up by two. Looking, It's not a complete game. But Shelby er, uh, Shel Miller, Tyler Clippard has pitched quite a bit for us. He's pinch hitting Denard Span, three outs away from getting the dub. We're at third. I guess I was about to say we're only at 36 pitches, but uh, Tyler Clippard came in in the fourth inning, so he did come in kind of late. So. And strike three on the curveball. Two outs away from going 10-0 to start off the pack and play team. He's bringing in Eduardo Nunez, a righty to face our righty Tyler Clippard. 
Eduardo Nunez sending that one into the outfield. Second out of the inning. One out away from the dub. And we're going to go with the curveball. The good old curveball to try and end the game. Got him, baby. That's going to be it. We got the dub. 3-1. to one. We're 10 and oh, with our pack and play team this season. Tyler Clippard came in 5.2 innings of relief, 13 strikeouts, no hits or walks allowed, no base runners allowed for him. So that is uh, 17 batters, and he struck out 13 of them. Overall, we had 19 strikeouts in that game, man. That is a lot of strikeouts. That's crazy. That's probably my best relief performance of the year, man. 17 batters faced 13 people struck out. No hits or base runners allowed. No walks, no nothing. And uh, pack and play teams, 10 and 0. I really might, I think I might try and play some of the new events starting tomorrow on this team. I don't know if it will be for YouTube at all, but I want to get some stubs to open some packs here for you guys. Because uh, I'm not made of money, but I still want to be able to open some packs for the pack and play team, man. It's a pack and play team. If you guys did enjoy the video, though, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and comment anything down below. I will see you in the next video. Thank you again so much for watching. Peace out.